Hi, my name is Louis Ayusa. I'm Daniel Paluzic. And we're here with the VMware Cloud Provider Program Solutions Engineering Team. Uh, today we're going to be talking about vCloud Usage Insight, which is a SaaS offering to help our service providers with their monthly reporting uh, in the program. Uh, before we get started, uh, Daniel's going to start, uh, talk a little bit about how providers do their monthly reporting today, and then we're going to talk about Usage Insight, and then what's necessary and, and how to get started. Thanks, Lewis. So uh, as many of you know, uh, within the VMware Cloud Provider Program, we use our reporting through our usage meter appliance. This is a virtual appliance that is deployed to the provider environment and is then registered to uh, all of your endpoint objects, which could be vCloud Director, vSphere Environment, NSX, and is responsible for all the monthly usage units and the hourly reporting on what you're utilizing in the overall environment. Well, uh, at the end of the month, uh, beginning of the calendar month, we get an output. This is a TSV report that can be pulled through the web portal on Usage Meter or emailed via SMTP to the provider point of contact. Well, what happens when we start having multiple usage meters or we cascade out multiple different use cases based off of your cloud services? We can, this can lead to multiple usage meters, each with their own respective report that's going to the provider admin. And what happens here and what we've seen is this is an operational overhead and a lot of time effort spent with taking each of these reports finding out exactly uh, what is my overall monthly usage units and manually reporting this to the business portal. The end result is we're seeing a lot of time spent on a monthly basis for reporting on consumption within VCPP. So this is why we're here today to talk about usage insight and how we actually can alleviate a lot of that operational burden. Right, so from a systems perspective, it's a SaaS service that sits out there takes the information from the usage meters, collects it, aggregates it, and then puts that information into the business portal for us. To get started, you have to use a usage meter 3.6 or greater version. Uh, we prefer that our partners use the most current version, uh, to 3.6.1. The usage meter itself needs to have access to the internet and access to an SMTP relay email server, so that in case you can't send the email, it can still reach out via 4.4.3. The Usage meters, you can have one, you have many, uh, but yeah, for all the ones that are set up in your environment, Usage Insight will take that information and will collect it, aggregate it either for one contract or for multiple sites. So you can take multiple usage meters and aggregate them down to one contract or to one site so that we can do all that math for you. The uh, whole process is actually very simple. Uh, usage uh, meter has an ID that you take and it's in every single one of our reports. So how do we get started with uh, actually onboarding onto Usage Insight? I'm a provider, and uh, how do I actually register my Usage Meter instances? vCloud Usage Insight is a service available through the Cloud Services Portal. Inside of there, you're gonna create an organization and uh, connect it to the Usage Insight service. Once that's done, you'll take that Usage Meter ID that we talked about, put it into the mapping, so you'll click add a new usage meter, mm -hmm. give it a friendly name, something that's easy for you to remember, give it the, the number, and then it's gonna associate it with a contractor site. Um, if you have multiple sites, you make sure to choose the right one, and then you can have all of them mapped. And when once done, then we move on to the actual automatic reporting. And so the way that actually works is on the first to the third of the month, Usage Insight will uh, be receiving information from all of your usage meters, and on the fourth to the fifth of the month, when you're, you know, the fifth when you're supposed to report by, you'll have it, all that information available for you in the business portal. So we'll fill in all the forms for all the different uh, products that you used. Mm -hmm. You'll go in, check it, make sure everything looks right. And if it's not, you have a chance to take a look and, and edit that. So the end result is I don't have to take care of actually aggregating these reports anymore. Usage meters will phone home. I just log into the business portal on a monthly basis and verify that everything looks good. If right. I have any manual reporting I have to re put in there, I just append it and then I submit, right? Right. And this whole process is to say that you don't have to go and log into usage meters, which a lot of our service providers do, carry the information over. We'll do all that process for you. You just show up and then 
push the so, report through. Yeah, and you know, talking about some uh, impacts, we have a provider that had uh, several dozen usage meters, and it took them multiple people, uh, hours on hand to report on a monthly basis. They're down now to less than an hour to report using uh, vCloud Usage Insights. So a considerable impact on that monthly operational usage. Right, and it only took them 30 minutes to get the whole thing set up for 31 yeah. usage meters. Yeah. And now they're doing completely automatic reporting. So how do we get started? How do we learn a lot more about this, and uh, what's the process, Lewis? So the product page for Usage Meter and the Usage Insight is on cloud.vmware.com. If you go to the bottom of the page, you'll see vCloud Usage Insight. Click that, and uh, you'll see a button to sign up. Excellent. Once you get the once you get an email to uh, onboard, go through the process, and you're done. Great. All right. That's it. Thank you guys so much. Thanks.